And that's a major transformation. That's a major switch in that moment that you come to this place that you're willing to examine yourself for the first time in your life and not pointing finger at other people or other circumstances. No matter how righteous you feel it is and no matter how much you feel that you've been screwed and you have been cheated. I'm not saying that, has hap that hasn't happened. You have been betrayed. Somebody lied to you. You got married to someone and they cheated on you or they stole from you. I'm not saying those stories do not happen. But what I'm saying is, how do I free myself from this circumstance forever and not stay a victim and stalk into the story of my life? Because ultimately, the bottom line comes to you and your happiness. Do you want to be happy and free? Or you want to stay in this loop and suffer? Obviously, you don't have a power to change the world. Because if you had it, you would have done it by now. I don't know how good of a job you would have done. But if you could change things, you would have done it. If you could use your power of your imagination or whatever power, you're an almighty powerful being. And you will that all evil corporation stop dumping chemical uh, waste into the rivers and you would have done that you would decide that the 5g technology would be banned and you would do it you would decide that we have a complete democratic system on the planet and people vote and people work for people and greed would disappear you would have done that i know you have good intentions and you would do it but obviously you don't have that power to implement and force your will on others and other circumstances in the world. So <clears throat> since that power doesn't exist, so why don't we look inside? See, maybe we have the power to do something inward rather than outwards. So this is a major point in our lives when we come to this understanding or we come to the possibility that maybe I should look here. Now, let's look here. Let's look inside. So I can only speak from my own experience and what has come to me and my own self-realization in this area. That's all I can do. Maybe it helps you, maybe it doesn't but I'll share it with you, is the way I learned to look at it as I realized that, first of all, I refuse to be the victim. Absolutely, 100%, no matter what happens in life, I am not a victim. No matter how much I'm being cheated, how much I'm being betrayed, whatever it happens, I refuse to be the victim. A, number one. B, how do I refuse to be a victim? What tools do I use? What, what, how have I changed my consciousness and my view of looking at life by doing that? Because, yeah, saying it is one thing, but living it and acting it and wa walking your talk is a different thing, okay? So how do I do that? Is number one is that any situation that happens, any unfortunate situation that happens to me, and let's say I get into some kind of business partnership with someone and they, they cheat me, is I look at it, that in the soul level, I had a contract with them. In the soul level, we made an agreement 
that we will arrive to the planet Earth, we'll be born here, and we're going to be living this life. And a part of being in the third D, third dimensional life, which is a dimension of duality, a dimension of the two opposites. And no matter what you do, you're going to deal with the opposites. There's the male, there's the female, there's the day, and there's the night. There's white, there's black. Everything has its opposites. And in this dimension of the duality, which also gives you the opportunity to evolve because suffering, hardship, heartbreak in this dimension exists, as well as love and bliss and oneness all of them are here so you get to swing into them and you get to experience all of it which if you're mainly remaining into a 5d reality which is a complete stillness and silence then you don't get to experience these things that happen to a human being in in a place a dimension of duality so the fact that we're here in this body in this life and we go through whatever we have to go through that by itself is an indication that we need to learn obviously what is going on what is happening to our to us in this life whether you want to agree with this that you decided to come into this life or you just happen to pop into this we don't even need to go there into it that's another subject but let's say and this is how I like to view it is that I made an agreement that there's certain lessons I need to learn in this life for whatever reason, whatever reason. Now I come to this life and in this life, people who show up in my life and they cheat me and they steal from me or they hurt me. So what I do is I take the impact obviously i look at the experience and inwardly i you know i go through obviously if somebody has cheated me and they've stolen fifty thousand dollars from me and i'm really upset and i'm fuming for a while but when the fume goes down after the initial impact then the way i look at it is inwardly i say okay this was a good lesson. I needed to learn this lesson because I was too naive. I was too careless. I was too trusting. Whatever it is, I had to go through this life lesson. And inwardly, I thank him. I thank that person that has come into my life and they cheated me and they taught me a valuable lesson that I needed to learn as a co-partner, as a co-creator, someone who agreed that they would come and play this role with me. Not an enemy, not someone outside of myself, not somebody separated from me, somebody who's of my own self, somebody who's a part of the oneness, not separation, a mirror of myself, 